Jess. Hi. How are your knees hold? How are your knees holding up? Oh, they're doing great. I've been busy growing lots of skin over the last week, so it's gonna be good as new in no time. So speaking of knees, see if we can slow down just a little bit because I know the wind noise gets a little bit out of control. So speaking of knees, what are you wearing? Well, this is one of my Christmas presents. Yeah. They are merino wool sneakers. Yeah. And they are freaking awesome. In are fact, I'm wearing almost all of my Christmas presents today. Oh, what else did you get? <laughs> what else did Santa get you? Santa George got me this buff made of merino wool, which is awesome. Oh, the best thing of all is this merino wool base layer. Yeah? It's got some holes. Clear. Yeah? And it's awesome. I usually come out wearing tons of base layers. And today I've only got one lump base layer. And it's my Christmas gift from George. And it's merino wool. And I love not being all bulky. Well, yeah, because... Normally you're wearing a jacket and a couple other things. And I said, well, let's get you some thin layers and then you should be a little bit less with, uh, with our art, what do they call them? Synthetics, synthetic shells and things like that. All right, so now the news of the day is we got to get your last miles for your 310. Yep, I've got 27 miles to go and about three and a half hours to do it this morning before work, so I'm pretty sure it's in the bag. It's in the bag, baby. <laughs> what about some coffee? Maybe there's some coffee in there. Well, um, as luck would have it, Santa also got me a gift certificate to a local coffee shop. Nice. So I think that's going to be on our agenda for the day as well. All right, let's put that in the route. And 27 miles. Now, when's the last time you've done 300 miles in less than seven days. Never maybe. Never maybe. <laughs> so this challenge, this challenge has really been a challenge, hasn't it? Yes, but I mean, if it would be easy, everybody would do it. That's so true. That's why it is a challenge. Yep. We're out here encouraging each other to finish it. Yep. Putting a little more work than usual when you do it. That's right. So we're gonna get it done today though. We're gonna get it done. Well, as I said in a, in, a, um, in a text message to you, I said, I'm chuffed to bits that you've taken up this challenge. And truly I am because, you know, a lot of this stuff I kind of have always done by myself. And now, uh, so Barbara's got it done. You're going to get it done today. Lori will be chugging along over the next couple of days. And it's like, it's just amazing that the three of you women have taken this on. And but then, yeah, there's, I, I wanted to say that I see a lot of people on your challenge board. Yeah. Not just your crew. Yeah. And uh, it's really cool to go on there on Strava and check it out. Everybody's chatting to each other. and It is community. I mean, that's the thing. You build a community with, uh, with your cycling influence. And So I think I'm gonna trade in my wheels for these. I could get 310 done pretty quick. What do you think? Yeah? So I had a, I used to have, well, I've had two sport bikes. Uh, a Ninja, smaller, cal, uh, smaller uh, like a 600, this is a 900. And I've also had a, an 1100. So I love motorcycles. I think I, I think I want another one sometime soon. I heard someone comment on Strava once that the best cornering on cyclists are done by people who grew up riding motorcycles and dirt bikes. You know, funny story. Um, there's a Trainer Road, which is a training software, but they have their podcast. I think it's every Thursday. And one of the guys was talking and he said, yeah, you know, everything happens to me in slow motion, like when I'm taking a, taking turns down a mountain. And I had been telling my crew the same thing for years. I'm like, yeah, when I descend a mountain, to me, everything feels like it's in slow motion on a bike, on a pedal bike, as opposed to being on a motorcycle. So anyway, that's all for now.
Hello. Oceanside, and uh, people are still enjoying the water, which is pretty interesting. Actually, um, on Christmas Eve, that guy said the water was like 56, 50, 58 degrees Fahrenheit. But um, yeah, so this is New Year's Eve, Eve, Friday the 30th. People are out still enjoying the beach, which is really kind of cool. Another Rev girl who has completed the challenge. Boom! Boom. Yes. yes! I brought it home today. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I needed 27 miles to get my 310 for the yep. week. Yep, yep, yep. And we nailed it. 40 miles, and I still have plenty of time to get ready to go to work. Well, we have time for coffee. Yes, more importantly. Yes, more importantly. Time for coffee. Yep. And I got to test out many of my new Christmas gifts That's today. right. You have, you are almost head to toe with wool. You've got a buff. My very first wool base layer ever. No and kidding. This one is awesome. I, I didn't know that. Some loops. Yeah, I've never had wool. I've always had the synthetic stuff. And I decided during our ride today that for every new piece of wool that I get from here on forward, I will discard one piece of my old synthetic stuff. That's, so, that sounds like a fantastic plan. I want the old and the new. All right, so three ten miles done today with, uh, let's see, one day to spare. I'm proud of you. Thank you. So now Barbara's got it done. Jess has got it done. George got it done today too. So <laughs> boom. Yes, I only needed six <laughs> miles and I got mine today too. Thank you so much.